Hello everyone, welcome back. Here we're looking at a sample portfolio website that I just designed right here in Sketch. So say you're a photographer and you wanna showcase some of your work, you might have a similar website. So you have a cover photo that says my portfolio with whatever subtitle you want. And then you have your photo gallery. So if I just extend this artboard, you'll see I just added a bunch of rectangles and populated them with the craft plugin. So that's something I highly recommend you guys get. It'll save you a ton of time. So basically you just select any of these rectangle layers, head over here to this icon of the craft plugin. And I just went with a beach theme here. So if you just select beach, it'll just populate these uh, rectangle layers with a beach photo, a really high quality photo. So yeah, that's pretty much what I did to design this sample website. One thing to note, the artboard size that I used was desktop HD. So that's 1440 by 1024. You can use whatever dimensions you want, but that's just what I'm using. Cool, one thing I'm gonna do before sending this to Flinto and animating is I'm gonna hit R on my keyboard and I'm just gonna draw a rectangle across the top like this. And this looks really stupid right now, but um, you'll see why I do this. It's basically gonna serve as a guide for our animations. So I just took the opacity down just so I could still see it. But yeah, this is pretty much prepped and ready to send to Flinto. One thing I'm gonna do though, I'm just gonna drag this rectangle below the text. Cool. So with this artboard selected, let's head into Flinto and we can import. Cool, so here we are in Flinto. Let's just revisit what we're actually trying to do here with this animation. So we have the scroll content down here in a group that I just named content. So we wanna scroll on this group. And as we scroll, this cover photo and this text is gonna kinda of morph into this guide box that we made. And another thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna see this progress indicator start from left to right and it's gonna kinda of grow horizontally like this to indicate how much more content we have to view on this website. So we haven't done that yet, but we can do this now. So before we do that progress bar, let's just take this group, this content group, which is comprised of all of our photos and this white background layer. We can take this group and put it inside of a scroll group. And now, whoops, not that, sorry. We can extend the scroll group to the top of the artboard and we can also give it some room on the bottom. So this blue content box will just bring down a bit. So now in our preview, we can scroll. So that's pretty dope. So now the next step is making this progress bar. So this is really easy to do inside of Flinto. Let's just hit V on our keyboard to bring up the vector tool. I'm gonna to draw a point right on the corner here of this guide box and holding shift to make a straight line. I'm going to put another point here, hit enter. So now we have a line, it's two points. We can change the width of it to 10. And let's just make sure this line is flush with the corner of this guide box. So that looks good. And we can change the color. Hmm, what color should we make it? Maybe we'll just take this blue, it's kind of beachy. So I think it works here. So the idea with this vector that we just made is we can play around with the end percentage and you can already kind of see that this is kind of how we're gonna animate this. So this line is gonna grow as we scroll, but initially we want this end percentage to be zero and it's gonna animate in. So let's just make that zero. Great, so now everything is set and ready to animate. So let's just select everything Actually, before we do that, let's just name that vector we just made. We'll call it progress bar. It's always good to name everything as you go. Cool. So let's select everything, hit behavior. That's gonna put everything inside a behavior group and open up the behavior designer. So we have this initial state. So that's what we already created. That's this scrolling state, but you see the header, nothing's happening with the header yet. So let's do that in this new state. So hit that plus icon, we have a new state. In this new state, let's take this cover photo and holding shift and option, I'm just gonna scale it up a little bit to give it a bit of a zoom effect. And then let's just move it up, holding shift and up arrow key. 
just to move it off the screen partially but we want the bottom of this cover photo to be aligned with the bottom of this guide rectangle. Cool, so now we can take our text layers and move them into this guide rectangle. And I'm just gonna scale this portfolio one down. It doesn't have to be as big. We can align it, we can center it vertically like that using the alignment tools up top. And I'm also gonna align it with this photo here. So selecting both of these, I can just hit left align. So that's gonna make sure it's aligned here. And then this subtitle text, we can make it a lot smaller, bring it somewhere like this, take the opacity all the way down. So that's just gonna fade all the way out. So now when I tap on this new state, you'll see how the elements are behaving. And if I hold shift to toggle in slow-mo, you can see a bit better. I think this works. So basically we're gonna scroll and as we start scrolling, the uh, header is gonna kind of morph into this guide box here along with the text. So now we just need a way to get from the initial state to the new state. So let's select this scroll group that we made and let's add a scroll gesture. And you'll see this arrow kind of appears and that this arrow is going to indicate how far we need to scroll to get from the initial to the new state. So the target for this one is going to be the new state. And I actually don't wanna scroll that far. I kinda of just want this header and the text layers to get out of the way pretty quickly so I can start viewing the content down here. So let's just make it a nice round number like 220. And let's see what this looks like. So this is saying I'm gonna scroll 220 pixels to get to the next state. So yeah, that's happening pretty quickly. I think that's good. Awesome. So we can leave that. Obviously you can tweak these, the distances and everything to your liking, but just for, for tutorial sake, let's just leave that. So that looks good. So the header scales up a bit, or sorry, the cover photo scales up and the text moves up and to the left as we scroll and it's aligned nicely in this guide box we made, which we're gonna get rid of later because it looks terrible. <laughs> um, cool, so remember that 220, because this is the end position of this scroll gesture. It's actually gonna be the start position of the next scroll gesture we make because we're gonna just pick up right where we left off. So what we're gonna do now is add a new state and instead of new state one, we'll just call this three We'll call this one two and we'll call the initial one one. So we have state one, two, and three. So now in this third state, we're gonna be playing around with that progress bar that we made earlier. So let's come down to where it says end percentage. In this third state, we're gonna make this end percentage 100. So basically as we scroll to the end of the content, we want this, this progress bar to fill all the way up. So in order to do this, let's head into the second state. Let's select the scroll group. Let's add another scroll gesture. And remember, we left off at 220. That's where the last scroll position ended, so that we're gonna start this one at 220. And you see the arrow we can flip around, and we wanna drag it all the way to the end of the content. So we're gonna to scroll to the very end and then the progress bar is gonna fill up. So let's just drag it to the end of the content here. And we're gonna target the third state via a scroll gesture. So we're gonna scroll those 220 pixels and then once we reach 220, the progress bar is gonna start, start filling up. So we can scroll to the very end Okay, so it doesn't go all the way to the end. And I think that's because we didn't account for, we didn't account for this header and we didn't account for that buffer. So I'm just gonna do this by eye. We can actually just bring this distance up a bit just to ensure that that level bar goes all the way across. So it's almost there. <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty accurate. I usually just do this by eye. Anyway, you can get really precise with this if you want, but see what this looks like. Yeah, so now it goes all the way across how we want. So yeah, that's pretty much the animation. 
So now we can just get rid of this guide because we don't really need it anymore. So we can actually just select this layer. Actually, in the canvas, let's save and exit. Let's just, where is it? I named it rectangle. We can just hide this layer. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much the animation we were trying to create. We get this awesome uh, progress indicator filling up from left to right as we scroll. Yeah, you can get super creative with these scroll gestures inside of Flinto, and it's one of the reasons I love using Flinto so much as a prototyping tool. Please like this video if it was helpful. Subscribe for more. I'm going to try to upload at least one tutorial per week, whether in Envision Studio, Flinto, or Principle. So stay tuned for those, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.